Good day everyone! Welcome to today's virtual lesson on badminton. I am Myra and Lobang, one of your instructors for this session. I hope you're all ready to dive to some exciting learning. Basically, we already know badminton is a racket sport played using a racket to hit the shuttlecock across the net. can be played by singles with one player per side and doubles with a two players per side. Here are our topics for today, the brief history of badminton, the equipments and facilities, and the different shots. Before that, we will go first to our objectives. To determine the brief history, equipments, basic skills used in badminton. To execute the skills of badminton, and to articulate the importance of discipline, teamwork, and sportsmanship in relation to their daily lives, not just in sports. So let's go to the basic, to the brief history or to the basic history of badminton. Badminton before is called battle door because they use pad and paddle in playing them. There are some sources and documents states that badminton is originated in Asia and Europe. Somehow, it doesn't have enough evidence to prove them. Over 2,000 years ago, it is originated in Xi'an, China, and 1,600 years ago was brought to England, and this was the first time they created the rules of badminton. And in 1,800 in India, badminton was called Puna, where this was the first time they used net. And in 1929, it, is arrived in, it arrives in America. And in 1992, badminton was originally and officially added in the Olympic sport in Barcelona. So this is the brief history which we need to remember in badminton. So let's go to the equipment and facilities of badminton. The equipment of badminton, number one, is the racket. Uh, the rackets are light with top quality rackets weighing between 79 and 91 grams including the strings the grip of the racket is very important so here is the racket there are these are the parts of the racket the head the throat the shaft and the handle in the handle we use where we used to grip them so the there are two types of grip the towel grip and the rubber grip the towel grip is used by the person who, whose hands get particularly sweaty during game or play. And usually, this is used by the people who have small hands. Usually, they have, uh, they cannot, they usually, they cannot grip the rubber. Usually, they use this. And somehow, the rubber grip is also used by the other person who has superior to type pickle foam vinyl plastic. It provides can stable non-slip grip and safely and confidently lift heavier weight. So these are this is more soft and comfortable to play. Somehow for other persons they cannot grip this because they have small hands. And usually this is used by the person who does not have sweat they, they their hands don't sweat and also basically for a person who is comfortable with next is the shuttlecock a shuttlecock or it is called birdie in other countries somehow in the philippines we don't call it birdie because we all know that some filipinos may might understand the term it's a high drug projectile with an open conical shape so this is usually have two types, the feather and the synthetic. The feather is usually known as the main or pinaka known na, na shuttlecock. It is also, it has the sextant feathers and usually used by the professional leagues and professional athletes. Usually they better use, use the Feather shuttlecock because it has the better control in their, in their playing. So usually they control the hit 
they usually control how far, how how hard the heat is. And somehow, basically in the professionally, shuttlecocks or feather shuttlecocks usually only last for two to three matches because when the when the feather loses suddenly the the play of the the feather shuttlecock changes also so they need to use another another shuttlecock for them to confidently play with their and then next is the synthetic the synthetic is only used for recreational activities basically because synthetic shuttlecock is more heavier than the feather shuttlecock and also it consists for usually creational activities where they are is also played where it becomes a recreational activity and played outside because the the control and of course it cannot be oh, the air the possibly air hindi niya malilipad yung shuttle yung nylon shuttle cock agad agad next is the net Badminton net used to divide the badminton court in two sides, 5.1 feet height length. So this is our badminton court, post height in 5 feet and 1 inches, while the width of the net is 20 feet, and the net height is 2 feet and 6 inches, while the net at the center is 5 feet. So basically, this is the standard size of a net in a game. Next is the badminton court. Badminton court is played on a mark, court mark court for both singles and doubles. The court is rectangular and divided into two halves by a net. The doubles, the doubles court is wider than the singles court. Both, but both are the same length. The same exception which is often cause confused to add to Newer players is that the double skirt has a shorter serve length dimension. The double skirt is 16 meters wide and course the and 13.40 meter long. So here is the example of our court. The these are the side here which is in the inner is the single line. And of course, the outside is the double line, which is they are more wider and for them to the bot of the players can can go where the where was the shuttlecock will go. Let's go to the next. Next, which is the badminton different shot. Number one is the clear shot. The clear shot is described as to dive your opponent away from the net or to forecourt to show slow game. So basically, you will hit the shuttlecock on the other side with a long high clear and flat high or flat high clear. So basically, the shuttlecock will land to the to the uh add to the other court service line. Next is the smash. Where the smash is an attacking shot made a limit once upward reach of slightly in front of the shoulder. So basically, the shuttlecock will land agad agad to the floor of the opponent's court where you, you, you need to swing your hands to hit the shuttlecock. Next is the drop shot or the drive. The drop shot is any shots played drops immediately across the net so usually when you when you hit the shuttlecock it will drop fast to your opponent's court without them hit hitting it back to you to your core so usually this is in front so according to the arrow it's in front basically on the first line or the next line next is the net shot a net shot played as near as the net as possible controlled by the wrist the wrist or the forearm so basically it is controlled by the wrist or the forearm so 
even you hit the shuttlecock smooth across the net it will land to the so it will land to the opponent's court so basically when you hit the shuttlecock is you're just using your forearm or you're just using your wrist just to hit the so I already discussed the different types of shot. Now I will show you a video on how to do the different types types of shot. Hey everyone, today we are going to learn some badminton skills and the first thing we need to learn is how to grip a racket. So it's like you're shaking a hand, it's exactly that position. So for all the ones we're gonna do today, we are going to use the one, two, three position. So this is where you're first going to start and you're going to stand to the side of the net. The second thing you're going to do is bring your arms up into that elf position with the racket behind you. And then you're going to do hip and then you're going to have your elbow go and then your forearm and your wrist and follow through down to the opposite hip. So the first hit we are doing is the clear and the point of the clear is to take the shuttlecock and move it all the way down to the other edge of the court. Alright, so for the clear, you're going to do the one, two, three. So one, to the side of the net, two, up. And then when I hit it, I want to push the birdie up in the air before I follow through. So the second hit we are doing is the drop, and the point of the drop is to bring your opponent closer to the net. And so you're going to drop that shuttle clock right on the inside of their inside of the net. Alright, so the drop, the difference is how you do with your wrist. So again, to the side, up and ready. You can walk by your arm extended all the way up, and then it's your wrist just pushing it lightly. So the smash is the most forceful hit you can do, so you're going to start up in the air way up high and you want to hit it right inside the net and it's going to be super forceful. So as you see, I'm doing my one, two, three, and I'm getting ready and when I hit, I'm going to jump and I'm going to use all my power and lean forward to hit that over the net. So the drive is how we pass essentially the shuttlecock across the net, so it's going to go straight across and as you see in the video, you can also do it where the racket is perpendicular to the ground to hit it over that net. Okay class, after watching, that is how uh, the execution of the different types of shot. Now, now since let's test your understanding with a quick evaluation question. I'll ask a question and I want you to answer them. Ready? Here's the first question. A quick snap of the wrist in the black grip. Okay, very okay, it's the dead shot. Next question. A shot used to drive your opponent away from the net. Okay, it is the clear shot. Next is at the moment of contrast, the arm and the wrist come down forcibly. Okay, it's the smash. Next is, it is also an attacking shot in the badminton aside from smash. Yes, it's the drive or also known as the drop shot. Next, any shots played as near as possible. Very good, it's the drop shot. Now, I want you to I want you to show this summarization of what we have learned today. This is our main key points, the brief history of the of the badminton, be the equipments and facilities, which is the racket, the shuttlecock, the net, and the cart, and of course this the different shots which is which is the clear shot, net shot, smash and drop shot. Thank you for listening. I want to share this type of reflection on what we have learned today. We all know that badminton is a common sport. We usually sh uh, see them being played outside recreationally. Badminton helps us to stretch the heart muscular muscle and limit the risk of blood vessels clogging, reducing to the risk of congenital heart defect so usually this also helps us in maintaining our heart heart 
healthy. And of course, it helps us also our body to be physically fit in our daily lives. And of course, it helps us also to be have a proper posture and our different uh, different body type body um different body example like we have sometimes we usually seated like my um nakakubo somehow it also helps us to create our posture to bring back our posture properly so that's all thank you for listening